This is it. Okay, so here we are. We are going to see Stalin's Dacha. So this is just in uh, between Sochi and Adler. And so I guess this probably during the Soviet Union days would have been very kind of top secret and hands off, but now it's a museum. So uh, yeah, well, we're gonna go and uh, check it out. All right, so we just took a Yandex here. It took about, I don't know, 20 minutes um, from Adler. Um, we had no traffic and we just zoomed on through. So let's go figure this out. Look, there's a casa, because of course you have to pay for everything. That's just how it is. And then that's the entrance up there. There you go. Okay, so we just went in. It's, uh, it costs us 500 rubles to get in. And that's, we can just wander around. You can pay 1400 for an excursion and they'll talk you through it. But um, yeah, I didn't do that. I'm just gonna walk around and have a look. So uh, excursions sometimes go on for a really long time, but you got some really interesting things. So I guess it's a catch 22. Хорошо, <laughs> спасибо. Okay, so the, the dacha, <laughs> dacha palace is what I'm going to call it, has this big courtyard. And I guess we're just going to go inside and walk around and have a look. It's all painted green, I guess, I don't know why, camouflage, camouflage purposes or just in the hills, blending in. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've paid, we've entered. There's a area for tea to see it all. All right, let's go look. So it's kind of interesting being here at Stalin's Dacha because there's a lot of Russians who really, really, really like him. Um, viewed as the, you know, he's led the Soviet Union to victory in World War II against Nazis. And they, you know, value that because they paid for such a high price in the war. But on the flip side, he killed millions of people afterwards. Um, you know, he was the Georgian leader of the Soviet Union. And I don't know, it's a complicated um, history. I'm not sure they've actually come to pass or reconciled with. Um, I don't know, that's just my thoughts. So it's kind of split on what he's done, but hasn't been held accountable for what he did as well. So it's kind of weird. So this room is his movie theater. This was the, uh, well, Kinozal for Stalin. Now it's kind of recreated in this kind of format, but uh, behind is where the projectors were and they would be like shining on the wall. Okay, this is Stalin's billiard room. Apparently he was a terrible pool player, but everyone's gotta have one of these. All the rage. All the dictators are doing it. Okay, so you'll see this wallpaper. It's not, it's like a fabric. All the way around. Kind of interesting. Okay, here's a rest room. Or a room of rest. <laughs> Look at this TV. Wow. That is something with a record player up top. And then, you know, if you want to pay chess, you got it. And then just so one side of that is the pool. Because, you know, <laughs> every dacha needs a pool. This is actually surprisingly deep. Some mosaics on the wall. And there you go. Stalin's swimming pool. Go figure. So this is actually Stalin's working office here at the dacha. Room. Higher up, 
there you go. And then a little outdoor area. This one has sea views, so that's always nice. Okay, so this was Stalin's favorite hall in the Dutch. It's actually pretty impressive. If you look up at the ceiling, there's two balconies. It's, uh, it's actually a really nice room. And then you have, there you go, the different Soviet leaders all the way around. Stalin was a Georgian uh, Soviet leader who um, led well, the Soviet Union to victory in World War II. But afterwards, millions died under his uh, repression. So uh, it's a bit of a complicated history that I'm still trying to wrap my own head around because there's people uh, who really seem to celebrate him here uh, still. And uh, yeah, anyway, just processing it all, I suppose. But uh, here at his dacha, which is kind of more like a palace, a few things here uh, that you want to see a swimming pool, which is you know, empty. <laughs> and then he's got the billiard room, and then you have the uh, waxworks of Stalin himself, and you've got his rooms of his family members and stuff here. So uh, the whole thing isn't open, but there is obviously a lot of it that is, and you can come have a look uh, here up in the hills of Sochi. Kind of funny to think that back in the Soviet days, I probably would have been shot for sure for being here. And uh, there was guards apparently every 15 meters around the perimeter. And there was even a secret tunnel that took you out to the ocean if you had to kind of escape. So um, yeah, certainly uh, the inner sanctum of uh, the Soviet uh, elite of their day. <laughs>